So in this video, I'm going to go over the structures of the nitrogenous bases of DNA and RNA. And so depending on your class, whether you're taking biochemistry or genetics, you may have to recognize these structures and you may have to be able to draw them out. And so I just want to help you guys essentially be able to recognize which bases are which in this video. Okay, and so to begin with, we should probably separate the pyrimidines from the purines. So as you can see, the pyrimidines are down here. So it's cytosine, uracil, and thymine, and they all have one ring. So how I like to remember this is I just like to think pyrimidines are a single ring that cut. And so the C in cut is cytosine, the U in cut is uracil, and the T in cut is thymine. So that's how you can remember which ones are pyrimidines. And then the rest are just purines. So you have adenine over here and guanine. And so this may be a little more in detail than what you may need to know, but I'm just going to briefly go over the numbering of the pyrimidines. So first, you start with one is this nitrogen, and then you go around counterclockwise. And so as you can see, it's the same for all of the pyrimidines. So this is one, that nitrogen is one, this carbon is two, this nitrogen is three, this carbon is four, this carbon is five, and this carbon is six. And it's the same for all of these. And so you could take a minute, maybe pause the video, to think about how you can memorize this. But how I like to do it is I like to think that the two nitrogens are one and three, and then you either have a carbonyl or an amine at carbons two and four. So that's the numbering scheme. And now let's take a look at the purines. So how I remember the numbering scheme for purines is that it starts off at one here and just goes clockwise. And then on the other ring over here, it goes counterclockwise. So now let's talk about how to recognize the difference between purines. So how do we tell the difference between adenine and guanine? Well, how I like to remember this is that adenine be begins with the letter A, and it also has an amine group right here, and that's the only thing it has. On the other hand, guanine is more complex, and it's going to have an amine group as well as a carbonyl right here. And so that's how I like to remember the purines. Now for the pyrimidines, what I like to do to remember these is I like to just start off with uracil. So I just remember the structure of uracil and then essentially I change it a little bit to get the structure of thymine and cytosine. And so as you've probably noticed, the structures are very similar. And so uracil is what I like to start off with. And then if you add a methyl group, uh, a CH3 group onto the fifth carbon, then you're gonna get a thymine over here. I like to remember that because thymine has a THY, which is a methyl group, and methyl also has a THY. And then if you can remember that, then you're left with cytosine, which is just an amine group over here replacing a carbonyl over here. And so once again, this was just to give you an overview on the structures of the nitrogenous bases. As you get higher up in your science classes, you may need to be able to memorize these structures and recognize them. And if you're planning on taking the MCAT, you will have to as well. So that pretty much sums it up for this video. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.